Hey guys, I'm going to be checking out some more 8mm Mauser surplus rounds today. And these were also sent to me by Ryan. So thanks to him I'm able to do this analysis video today. And I don't know much about these rounds either. Except they're supposed to be Czech surplus. The last ones I checked out were German surplus. So here's our check surplus rounds, and here's a closer look at a cartridge. They definitely look in pretty good condition. And on the head stamp, all it says is UXA and 4. So like I said, I pretty much have no information on these rounds. So if anybody knows anything about them, please let me know. But as usual, we're just going to start out by measuring the overall lengths of some cartridges. And for anyone who's wondering, the case is not attracted to a magnet, but the projectile is. But anyways, the overall length. Our first one, 3.164 and a half. Number two, 3.165 and a half. And number three, number four, 3.174 and a half. Number five, 166 and a half. Number six, 3.162. 7, 3.161, and number 7, 0.164, 8, 3.162 and a half, sorry that was actually 8 and then 9, so number 10, 3.165. So that was our overall links. Now let's go ahead and pull a couple of these apart. Alright, we got one of them pulled apart, and here's our empty brass. Let's start out by weighing the powder charge. So this one's charge is weighing in at 44.1 grains. And here's a look at the powder. This time we got a stick powder, but they're actually really short compared to other stick powders I've seen. And now our projectile, that's actually a really long bullet. But let's see how much it weighs. 178.9. Which is weird because this Czech surplus round is actually longer than the German surplus one that I pulled apart recently. You can tell the Czech round is just slightly longer. But it's about 20 grains lighter. So that just makes me think it has a steel core while the German round has a lead core. And the German round definitely has lead on the base here. You can tell because I can just scratch it with a 223 round. See now there's a big old scratch. But the check round, I can't scratch the bottom. So most likely this one has a steel core or at least some bit of steel inside it and maybe even a steel jacket also, I'm not sure. But now let's measure the empty case before I put the powder back in there. 2.239. Now let's pull another one apart and see how that one compares. Alright, we got number two pulled apart. And this time let's start out by measuring the case length. And this one's coming in at 2.238. And the powder charge. I actually just dropped a couple flakes, but it shouldn't make much of a difference. Maybe 0.1. And the charge for our second cartridge, 44.1. And the amount that I accidentally dropped might have been even less than 0.1. Like I said, it probably made no difference. And here's our second projectile. See how much it weighs. 178.7. Now let's weigh the overall cartridge. 388.1, 386.8, and 388.2. And now the lengths of the bullets. The first one we pulled apart, 1.463. That's definitely a really long bullet. And the second one, 1.456. And I can only think of one other thing to do, which is measure the bullet diameter. And the first one's coming in at 0.322. And our second one, also 0.322. But anyways, that's all for the check surplus analysis video. As always, thanks for watching.